Why? Why do I always put myself through this pain and agony? Oh, that's right. For the viewer's enjoyment. Welcome back to the Manga Sloth. Today, we got two big, chunky, heavy, giant, right stuff boxes that I can barely see over. And these big puppies are full of one dollar mystery manga. And there is 50 volumes. That's right, the manga sloth purchased 50 volumes from the right stuff one dollar manga blind box so enough of the chit chat let's get in and see how awesome or not awesome the manga is that we got as always get yourself the butter knife and let's chop this open right here All right, let's see what we got. I see lots of manga here. Let's push this to the side and let's take them out one by one and see what we got. Number one. Oh, what is this? Oh, nice. Helsing Deluxe Edition Volume 1. And it looks pretty mint. That's a good volume for a dollar. All right, all right. Jokes aside, jokes aside. It's volume one and two. All right, right stuff wouldn't just send me one volume for a dollar. They'd send me two. All right, obviously those weren't in there. These are going to be older manga, manga they couldn't sell, the chaff, the stuff that's just been sitting around their warehouse for years. So they started this blind box promotion. I bet it's just done wonders for them inventory wise, getting this all out of here. So let's dig in and starting off first, we got not one, not two, but three volumes of volume one of Dot Hack GU, The Terror of Death. Just what I wanted. Dot Hack is pretty cool. So this isn't too bad. The shows are a bit confusing. The manga may be good. I've never read it. Let's see some art. Oh no. Oh no. This is not manga. This is a novel. Well, that's kindling. Just kidding. I'll read this one at my house, this one at my beach house, and this at my house abroad. All right, we'll set those aside. Let's get into it. What else we got? We got one volume of Kung Fu Klutz and Karate Cool. Well, well, doesn't this just look like some heat? And it, <laughs> this, this is like a like a kid's book. It's got a couple pictures in there, and the rest is words. Well, I'm happy you only got one of these, but I'll tell you what, I wouldn't buy this off a shelf for a dollar. I wouldn't buy this off a shelf for five cents. But they're mystery boxes. All right, next up we got two dot hack links now before i get into what they are just gonna check here and hallelujah they are manga looky looky so that's pretty cool two volume ones it's a lot better than getting a volume seven or something random and uh you know art doesn't look too bad i've seen worse art in recent stuff so who knows about that? We got Karakuri Odette. Odette? Am I, if I'm saying that right? We got two volumes of this. I have no clue what, what this is. I have never seen this. And yes, this is a manga also. I uh, can't comment on this. This is a Tokyo Pop. But we got two of these. So if you're trying to read manga with your right hand and your left hand's like, what am I supposed to do all alone over here? Boom. Now you're covered. See, Right Stuff was thinking about us. They were thinking about us. They could have just been like, oh, let's just put one volume in, but they were like, nah, 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 nah. They got two hands. They got two hands. See, see? Next up, we got Honey Mustard Volume 1. I feel like I have actually seen this before. It feels like there's something in it. It's lumpy. Why is it lumpy? Why is there a lump in my manga? Oh. There is a sticky barcode thing. 
Oh, they're trying to track the manga sloth. All right, honey mustard. It's love at second sight. Don't know what it's about. Also a Tokyo Pop. Set that over here. Let's keep going. I'm pulling them out in chunks because there's multiple volumes of a bunch of these. Let's see, we got M and N. M and M and N. M and N, portrait of M and N. Okie doke, never heard of this. Tokyo Pop, you got your three on the tree. And don't know anything about this. This is a manga. I don't know, honestly, this doesn't look like the worst thing ever. I don't know what it's about. I definitely don't need three of them. Next up, we got two volumes of Mugen Spiral. Tokyo Pop, something I've never heard of. There sure is a lot of Tokyo Pop. Maybe uh, Tokyo Pop needs to, I don't know, have better titles. Are these are these all just fails? Has anyone read any of these? In the comments down below, once I get to the end here, let me know what you've read and what you know about. Are any of these any good? Two volumes of this. Let's see, we got one volume of I Wish, another Tokyo Pop. A wizard who can grant wishes, all he asks in return is to have what is most precious to the wisher. That's actually, that sounds kind of cool. A lot of crap can happen because of that. All right, that doesn't look too bad. Only one volume of that, the correct amount. Keep going here. We have Riding Shotgun. What is, what is this? This is reading like a normal American book. Looks, looks not super great. Then we got one volume of Short Sunzen. Volume one, another Tokyo Pop. Don't know anything about this one. And then we got volume one of Demon Sacred, another Tokyo Pop. Never heard of this, ever. Don't know anything about it. Definitely looking at the art, it looks old-ish. Not the world's greatest art, but you know, could be fun, who knows. Next we got Clean Freak Fully Equipped. Volume one, also Tokyo Pop. And look at that, they all got, oh my gosh, they're going into battle and they got like scrubbing stuff. What is going on here? And the last ones for box number one, cause we got 50 of these is what? What the heck is this? We got two volumes of Peach Fuzz. Oh man, what is that? That's a ferret? Look at the back, the ferret is in a princess dress. Oh dang, this looks funny. Also, it could just be me, but this, this volume is thicker. This volume is a lot thinner than this one. And these are both the same book. I mean, obviously this one looks more yellow. Don't know if it's showing up on camera. Well, that's Peach Fuzz. And let's get to box number two. But first, let me just say thanks for joining me here today. If you like Right Stuff, if you want manga and you like buying manga from Right Stuff, please consider using my affiliate link. It helps me out a ton because it allows me to use all the profits, 100%, to give back to you, the community, for giveaways and everything cool. Box number dos. This one's pretty heavy. Got lots of manga in here. And let's, let's, let's try to get in here. Let's just stab this. Let's just, there we go. We're not making any progress. Okay, there are my packing slips. I'll just get rid of those. Scoot it over and let's begin. Let's start off, oh, they're jammed in here. Let's start off with not one, not two, not three, but you guessed it, folks. You can't be doing it right unless you have four volumes of Butterfly. The hit manga, Butterfly. Here we go, here's some art from the wonderful Butterfly. You know, I've seen worse manga. This doesn't look too bad. The art's not amazing, but it is not the worst thing I've ever seen. But I definitely don't need four volumes. Let's move along. Let's see, we got one volume of 
Forget About Love, Volume 1. This manga should be called Forget About Butterfly. Oh boy, you can tell it's got an older anime style, at least, at least on those eyes. Look, can anybody see them? Those are some big bug eyes. But let's not forget about love. Love is great. Next up, we got McCancy number one, volume one. This is Tokyo Pop, of course. Has everything been Tokyo Pop? Listen, folks, I'm not dissing on Tokyo Pop. They just did not have a lot of great selling titles. I don't know anything about any of these mangas so far. They may be great, good, grand, but they didn't sell very well. They are blind box mangas. Well, anyways, let's take a peek inside. The manga is kind of blocky, lots of black, which is not a bad thing. Doesn't look too bad. Who knows? Next up, Tokyo Pop Neko Ramen. What is this? This is some, some like cat. It says, hey, order up. What is going on here? Oh, this could be funny. I don't know. Looks like a uh, little cat that runs like a ramen shop or something. The art is uh, not great. It's more of a comic style. I would definitely read this to just have fun. Uh, now I just noticed that it's not volume one. It looks like a single edition. So just a quick read if you're looking for Neko Ramen. Three volumes of Burst Angel from Tokyo Pop. That's right, three volumes. Just what you needed. Looks not spectacular. Don't know anything about this one. Never heard of it before in my life. Next, we got Red Hot Chili Samurai. That's right, Red Hot Chili Samurai. Not Red Hot Chili Peppers. And this manga is not about Daini, California. The art on this one, doesn't look the worst. I don't know anything about this one. Look kind of cool. Though the description on the back says this samurai likes peppers. Scratch that. He loves them. So who knows if this is good or not. All right, we got another dot hack. This is volume one. And folks, it's a novel. I don't want novels. I want mongers. Though this is just showing me that there's a lot of dot hack stuff. Is anybody up to date on the dot hack stuff and know about it? Is there like a like a reading order? Is it just like you can read whatever? So we got three volumes of Pitta 10, if I'm saying that correctly. A lonely lad, an adorable angel, and hyperactive hijinks. What else do you need from a manga? And the art is... It's an older style art, but it does not seem too bad. I would not be bugged if I was reading something with art like this. Moving along, we got four <laughs> volumes of Eensy Weensy Monster. Oh boy. Oh boy. Let's see, Tokyo Pop, what'd you do? What did you do, Tokyo Pop? Art, middle of the road. I'm not even gonna read you the back. It just sounds like a super generic shoujo with like a little monster aspect. You get on this kid's bad side, I guess. This kid without a nose. You don't need a nose to be in this manga. My goodness, I don't need four volumes of Eensy Weensy Monster. But I got them. But I got them. We got one volume of Haru Haze Bitter Bop. Haru Haze Bitter Bop. That's a, that's a name. Volume one. And art's not the worst. This 
doesn't look like the worst thing ever. I don't know what it's about. It's a delinquent high school student, a creature of the wind, and a detective take on the world. Sounds weird, but could be cool. All right, next we got two volumes of Shin Megami Tenzin Khan, volume ones. And these guys are wrapped up because they are mature and not for children. It says, not since Battle Royale has a manga been so extreme. Well, maybe it is, but we'll never know. And obviously this was not as popular as Battle Royale. And the last two in the box is World of Warcraft Shadow Wing. And these are manga. Goody goody. Let's see. I'll tell you what, the art's pretty good. Hopefully it shows up on screen. A lot of detail. A lot of shading. A lot of dark blacks. And, uh, you know, nothing too crazy anatomy-wise or, you know, something wonky. The person knew how to, you know, draw faces and stuff. So this doesn't actually look that bad. Now, I know this is a Blizzard title. Now, I do have some StarCraft manga. I don't know if they're made by the same people, but same company. And they, and they look pretty good. This one does look pretty good, so not too bad. And that's it, folks. That's 50 volumes of manga for a dollar each. And you will sometimes get things that you think are cool, that are not too bad, that maybe you'll read. But then there's sometimes you'll get four volumes of Eensy, Weensy, Monster. So that's not so cool. So does the $1 manga blind box get the manga sloth stamp of approval? Yes, it actually does, because I think it's a neat thing to buy at the end of your order. Don't do what the manga sloth does. Don't follow what the manga sloth does. He's crazy. Don't buy 50 volumes of the $1 blind box. You're not going to get your money's worth. It's not going to feel like you got your money's worth. And you're probably, probably, could happen, you're probably not going to be too happy with your eensy weensy monsters. But I think it's worth it that you have a $50 order and you just want to buy one, two, three of them, do it. You might miss nine times out of 10 where you don't like anything you get. But if there's just one time you hit and you find something you love, or if you like this, it could take you down a road of tons of stuff you like. I think you should treat it like a quarter machine mystery, you know, mystery bubble where you may be throwing away your quarter, but you might get something cool, but you probably will get something lame. Just treat it as for fun and don't buy 50 volumes because it might not end up well. On that note, when I do giveaways, don't be surprised if I start chucking some of these in there as extras. So if you've seen any good manga, or you've read it, or you know anything about it, I'd love to hear about any of these which I opened. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all next time.